Miss Kitwalk! Made arrangement with previous owner. Yurts just for your sleep until end of journey. Former owner now decide go live in other yurts so Miss Kitwalk sleep nice in this. Oh, that's really very nice of you, Mr. Barut. Thank you so much. Oh, oh I wish, I wish, I wish. The Yukols have stored all of the things I've managed to take out of the clinic. That's so nice of them. Ah, Kate Walker. How are your lodgings? Great. Thank you so much for the yurt, but I really can't stay too long. I'm exhausted. Alas, the night may well be long. But why? Miss Kate Walker, take a look at the moon. The Red Moon. It only very rarely enters this phase, about every 20 years. Every 20 years? Like the migration, I guess. Miss Kate Walker, calculate well. <laughs> It is not chance. Each migration must come here to this exact spot for the night of the Red Moon. Why is it so important? The Red Moon is the time for a sacred ceremony that is very important for the Yukos. A ritual to bring the favor of the spirits upon the migration, and so to have a chance to reach the destination. Since the dawn of time, this ceremony has been held in the Temple of the Red Moon. I didn't see any temple in the vicinity. That is the problem, Miss Kitwalker. Since last migration, temple disappear. Come on, a temple can't just up and vanish like that. Unless it is buried beneath tons of concrete. Do you mean that the temple was demolished so that they could construct the stadium? It is said that the spiritual guide of the previous migration, my predecessor in a way, found a way to save the temple. How did he do that? The guide Kantika, accompanied by a few other brave Yukols, offered to work on the site. They proved to be very able masons, to the point of being able to hide our temples beneath the concrete without anyone knowing. For months, they worked at night, away from the eyes of architects and foremen. Yukols worn out by hard work to save House of Spirits. But they succeeded in their enterprise. And our temple really is hidden somewhere, beneath these modern buildings. Alas, the poor people died of exhaustion. How terrible. I... I'm so sorry. Ti esperitulu, makra henok, ignok vanu. With these words, the tribe pays tribute to their sacrifice. Ti esperitulu makra heno pignok vanu. Temple must be somewhere here. Me tell tribe look for temple. But little help of Miss Kate Walker, not too much. <laughs> But you don't have a map, or the slightest idea where the temple could be hidden? We only know that it is here somewhere, beneath tons of concrete. We absolutely must find it, Kate Walker. So, where should we start? You search on your side. We'll have a better chance of finding the temple with all of us searching. Okay. What exactly does the ceremony consist of? The ritual of the Red Moon is to draw the favor of the spirits onto our caravan. A purification before we can cross the border into Yakistan. It's also a very personal type of trial. It's difficult to explain the ceremony in a few words, Kate Walker. You need to experience it to understand. Are you sure Olga and the Colonel won't be able to chase us on the other side of the border? Yes, Kate Walker. Yakistan is outside their jurisdiction. Have the Yukols already started the search? Of course. 
Don't hesitate to ask if you need help. Right. I'll also go take a look around. Illegible. Good evening. Sorry to intrude, but the door was open. Please excuse my curiosity. I'm accompanying a tribe of nomads who are camping in the stadium. We're trying to find a temple that used to be somewhere around here, before everything changed. Have you heard anything about such a temple? It's a very important place for the Yukuls, a sacred site. If it still exists, you wouldn't happen to know where it is, would you? I'm afraid I have to insist. I had a look at that manuscript before you took it back. It looks as though it was written a very long time ago by one of the Yukuls. It's a mixture of plans and of notes. I have to admit, I don't really understand it. But it obviously indicates how to find the sacred temple. It seems like the document means a lot to you. I'm sorry, but you have to let me take it. The Yukuls will be absolutely lost if they can't find the sacred temple. Kantika. I've heard of him. He was the spiritual guide of the previous migration. Did you know him? The foreman killed him. They made him work. And work. And then work even more. Treated like an animal. I will never give my father's journal to someone from their camp. You'll have to kill me first.
Listen, I'm not who you think I am. I have nothing to do with the people who built the stadium. I left everything to accompany the Yukuls on their journey. I've become one of them now. You think I'm a fool. I don't actually believe everything I hear, and I will never tell someone like you anything. You're not even worth half of a Yuko like me. You're nothing but a Bolshevik. What do you mean? My name is Dunyasha Dubrovskaya Tika. Kantika, my father, was the leader of the Yukuls who were made to work like dogs on this stadium. Then he got together with a woman from around here, a woman who was working in one of the canteens on site. And that's the story of how I was born. You know, I'm just running away from the people chasing us, the Yukul caravan and me. Those people want to hurt us. The Yukuls I'm with are right over there outside. I can go and get one of them to vouch for me if you like. What for? You've probably already got them under your thumb, Bolshevik. The Yukuls are like children. They say what you want them to. A few months ago, the Yukuls saved my life. Today, I'm just trying to help them. If you really have Yukul blood in your veins, you should be doing the same. You chirp prettily, like vipers warming themselves in the sun on the stadium concrete during the summer. I was thinking about what you said about your father, Kantika. You know, the Yukuls think of him as a great benevolent spirit now, because he decided to sacrifice himself to save the Temple of the Sacred Ceremonies so all future migrations could continue to receive the blessing of the spirits. That's good. You should never forget the spirits. T. Esperitulu, Makra Henok, Biknok, Vanu. That's what the Yukuls say to honor him. May your spirit join together with those of the ancestors, and may your sacrifice never be in vain. That's what the Yukuls say. Even a Bolshev... Uh, I mean, even the people from the capital who had the stadium built wouldn't know that. Give the notebook to your guide. He will understand if he really is the person you say. The spirit of my father will guide him. Thank you. Don't thank me too quickly, though. I don't know where the temple is, and even with the manuscript, finding it won't be easy. There is so much concrete and iron here. Sometimes even the spirits can do nothing. One last thing. The new caravan. Do you think that... that the guide could maybe come see me? I... I don't get that much company. So, if I could speak with some of my own people... Of course, I understand. You can count on me. Strange. The inscriptions have also been translated into Yukul. Let's take a look. Some died for the tribe, others to help them. Let all, nomads or not, be honored forever. Something's wrong. How is your research coming, Kate Worker? Well, I just happened to bump into the daughter of your predecessor, Kantika, in the cemetery there. Really? What's she up to here? Not much, unfortunately. Loneliness has made her completely paranoid. At first she thought I was with the people who had built the stadium. Do you think she could help us find the temple? She gave me her father's journal. I'm hoping it can help me find the temple quickly, but it's written in Yukul. Do you think you could translate it for me? Of course. That's not all. Would you mind paying her a visit? The poor woman's been alone for years, and I'm sure seeing someone from the tribe would do her a world of good. 
I'd be honored to meet the descendant of the one who saved the temple. I'll go as soon as I've translated the journal. Give it to me, please. What on earth is that? I'm fine. More scared than hurt.
Jesus will now let us open temple. I think so, yes. But I'm going to need help moving them. Yokels, give help! Miss Kate Walker, guide them! Miss Kate Walker succeeded! <laughs> she come to temple with us! longer recognize your real family. You need to come home now. You have to listen to your mother. Yes, you must see that we are having great difficulty understanding how such a brilliant young attorney could turn to criminal activity. We have taken recourse to the courts, Miss Walker. Rest assured things will not remain as they are. You really need to understand, Kate. I couldn't wait for you forever. You've really let us down, Kate. I was your best friend. You're confident. So in the end, everyone is actually right. You're gone forever, Kate. You're lost. You're dead, Kate. Dead. Kate Walker? Is everything all right? I... yes. But I need some air. Please, let's go outside. Are you sure you're well? I don't mean to offend you, but for a moment you were in a different world, Kate Walker. Ghosts. Nothing but ghosts. All right, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna try to get some sleep for a few hours before dawn. I'll wait for you here. Then, good night, Kate Walker. Good night, Oscar. 